I love Star Wars. You love Star Wars. Not this much. Not this much. <laughs> oh my God, this story kills me. Um, a family of three, three, hmm, they spent $6,550 for a two night stay on Disney's Star Wars Galactic Cruiser. All right. I'm going to go over the basics on this story. I'm not going to bore you to death with the whole thing. But after I read it, and I'm going to read it again to you and everybody out there, I want somebody to tell me where the $6,550 went. That's what I want to know. All Did right. they get a part in one of the next movies or series coming up? I mean, is that part of it? Are they like an extra on The Mandalorian? I, I didn't read that in there. Um, <laughs> it says that... Uh, Okay, technically, they spent $6,559.18, including trip insurance. Yay. Um, let me go to the next page here. I'm trying to flip pages at the same time I'm trying to read. All right, for people that don't know, it's the Star Cruiser. It's a hotel on Disney's immersive experience that uh, is best described as a combination of a hotel, dinner theater, and choose your own adventure escape room. Um, and although it's not necessary, you'll get more out of it if you choose to play along as part of the story. So I think that's about as close as you're gonna get hmm. to being in one of the movies. Now here's what the two night quote unquote voyage was like. It says our, our adventure began a little before 1 p.m. on the first day. Um, they got to dress up in their quote unquote galactic best, by the way, um, the Star Wars outfits that they wore, they had already had, they purchased themselves, so that's another fee right there. Um, they get in bands when they get on the ship. They're plastic bands that are used throughout Disney World and connect guests with other data using simple taps. So the man is tracking you while you're in there. Anyway, they got data pads, a program with Disney's Play app, to receive communications for missions from cast members and what Disney calls, which is what Disney calls his employees. They were taken to the launch pod that brought them from the Star Cruiser port to the uh, Halcyon itself. And that's the immersive experience that they, uh, once they step inside, they dock, it, it looks like a big ship or whatever. And on the bridge, you can see all the operations uh, there's a lounge in there. They call it the Sublight Lounge. There's a bar that serves Star Wars-themed drinks. I'm sorry, I can just get blue food coloring and put it in my milk, but that's, um, let me keep going. Uh, <laughs> cast members will escort you to your room, and your room is based on um, images from Star Wars themes and, and Star Wars sets, and you have a big touchscreen panel on your room. It's like an artificial intelligent assistant. And theirs was called D309. And she would answer questions about the ship. And she was a reliable source for information once the story got underway. When they launched, they uh, headed back to the dining room. And that's where they got a buffet style meal with small portions. There's the first problem right there. Small portions of each selection available. And it had generally familiar foods with unique names that were presented in uh, unusual ways, such as chicken nuggets and macaroni uh, dipped in cheese. And they called it uh, dip, tip, yip, chicken with noodle cheese, whatever. So <laughs> there's another problem, macaroni and cheese and some uh, chicken nuggets. For $6,559, y'all, unlimited drinks included the iconic blue milk and green milk. The milk drinks were plant-based. They didn't lost me again. Um, where one cup usually costs around $8. I could get two gallons of milk and have some change. $8? $8 for a cup of blue for milk. For a glass. Now, this is above $65.50? No, they said that's what the comparison price is if you bought it at Disney, Disneyland itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, after exploring the ship a bit more, we headed to the atrium and uh, the first event listed on our data pad, and they went through their story or whatever their story was. They called it a mission. 
And then they continued the rest of the afternoon and evening through the bridge, training for the mission, getting ready to operate their lightsaber training and learning about the weapons. And then dinner was served in the Crown of Karelia dining room. And their meal was a more formal sit-down dinner. And there was a live show by the Galactus, by the Galactic famous singer, Gaia. Don't know who that is, but okay. It shows a picture here of their dining room. And it says, overall, our stay in the Galactic Star Cruiser was well worth it. It was expensive stay, but the attention to detail made it seem like we were living in the Star Wars universe. Uh, admission to Hollywood Studios, preferred access to rides in Galaxy's Edge, and unlimited gourmet food added to the value of the trip. Um, additionally, the service was impeccable. We felt like VIP guests throughout our visit. We are glad we booked our stay and even may consider a return trip. What the hell, man? Um, okay. I, I like some of the things that they're talking about on this, but I'm going to be real honest here. I couldn't even see paying half of what they paid for this thing. Now, you said they got access to all the rides as well? Yes. Not Disneyland, though. It says access to uh, everything in Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars part of Disneyland. Okay. <clears throat> Which I'm assuming they have di or Star Wars themed rides and things like that. What is I think they have three or four, and it's based on whether you go to the California Resort or the Florida one. Gotcha. Man. You lost me at chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. Yeah, I, I would be insulted if I dropped seven grand down and all you want to give me some chicken nuggets. I understand that they had a more formal sit-down dinner, my, but my breakfast, lunch, and dinner better be gourmet. You know? Yeah, I mean, it broke down. You said it's a couple of three. It's $1,092 roughly per day per guest. That's what it cost them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no. So we'll say, we'll say what, $1,100? Yeah, easily. Eleven hundred. A day. Man. And, and, and I mean, I how guess, much I guess how much is does I, that does that include airfare? It did not say. Hmm. I mean I don't know if that's I part of the price. I bet it didn't. I mean, how much is how much is a regular ticket to go to Disney World? I mean, I, I've never been. They've gotten so much higher since I've been there. It's been so many years. But I will tell you that you will easily drop several hundred dollars for just one of the theme parks in one day at uh, Disney. I think it's I think it's like hundred and fifty dollars to get in. No, don't quote me on this. Hundred and fifty to get in, and then paying for all the anonymities themselves. That's a whole different thing. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna look it up right now, and I can yeah, tell you what, what the going price is for Disneyland. That's what I was looking up to. Um. $109 per ticket uh, on a value ticket. So it, it can go higher than that for, but they start at a hundred bucks. So let's say I went into Disneyland, yeah. dropped a hundred bucks and I had $500 to spend. That leaves me 400 to do whatever else I want to do in Disneyland, including go to Galaxy's Edge do all that Star Wars stuff without staying in the hotel. I'll stay at the Holiday Inn down the road and save myself $5,400. You feel me? 
Yeah, but you're not going to get the the artificial intelligent robot to tell you about the ship they're at Holiday Inn. You're just going to have, you know, some guy named Dave telling you about their pool <laughs> on the third floor. I mean, you know, you pay for that as well. I'm ghetto. I will tape my iPad to the wall <laughs> and have Siri tell me where we at. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's a lot. I'm, I'm betting, though, that 65 ha had to do with travel, too. I bet you, because normally when you get a, uh, a some sort of package, that, that's airfares wear. I don't know. But yeah. still, that's a lot of money. I wouldn't drop it, no. Well, and were they the only people there? That's what I want to know. How many people were there? Yeah, see, for that at kind of price. At 1100 a day, how many people were there? I don't just want somebody at the uh, desk. I want full-on valet service. Right. I don't even want to. I don't want to have to cut my meat. I want them to cut it and feed me for that type of money. You know. Hey. Uh, but I don't want chicken nuggets. I want some like emu nuggets or something. I, I don't want. I want something that's out there. I don't want something I can go down to McDonald's and get. Exactly. That's. Whoo. That's 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 a bit much for me. Uh, and, and keep in mind, it's a two-night stay. Two nights stay. That's it. Yeah. That doesn't make it any better, but hey, teach that's why we love this country. You can do crap like that. Hey. If you got mean, that, if you got that kind of bread and you want to do something like that, more power to you. I say I'm go telling you, if, if I had that type of bread, I would do it. I don't have that type of bread, so I'm not. That's what I'm gonna say. I don't have it. So oh man. So all that's right. just to go to Galaxy's Edge. What if you want to go to the Galaxy itself? How much is that going to cost? Oh, don't don't raise that question. Somebody from Disney <laughs> is probably listening. They're like, hmm, he's got an idea. Let's take him further into the Galaxy. Well, we if you're going to take my idea, $10, I need to be paid for it so I can come to the Galaxy's Edge. There you go. <laughs> Y'all heard it here. You cut that check for show. That's cut right. That check. All right, so... We already know that we're two cheap bastards, and we're, <laughs> we're not going to. Hey, that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> you never know. It might be in the two running. Two cheap bastards. There you go. There you go. 